One day, the Buddha Shakyamuni was meditating under a tree when all of a sudden, the angry brigand Angulimala came to him and began abusing him with words. Angulimala thought that Gautama Buddha would react in the same manner, but to his utter surprise, there was not the slightest change in Gautama's facial expression. This frustrated him and made him even more furious, so he shouted even more abuses at the Buddha. However, Gautama remained perfectly serene. In fact, there was some change in the Buddha's face, but it was not bitterness nor anger. Instead, there was a look of compassion for Angulimala. The Burgund could see the futility behind his attempts to anger the Buddha, so he asked him why he was not affected by his aggression and disrespect. And with sincerity, Gautama responded, My brother, I have not received a single abuse from you, in spite of my hearing of it. I do not need abuses, so why should I even hear it? Angulimala was puzzled by the Buddha's explanation and asserted, But I directed my abuses toward you. And Gautama Buddha further explained, All those abuses remain with you. My brother, if you give a gift to someone, but they choose not to receive it, then with whom would that gift remain? Angulimala answered, The gift would remain with me. And with a sincere smile on his face, Gautama explained, That is right. I have not accepted any gifts or abuses from you, so there is no reason for me to be angry at you. Angulimala did not contend. Now he understood and was overtaken with shame. He apologized to Shakyamuni Buddha and asked for his forgiveness. It is natural to feel some aversion toward this lesson at first. Many people find the idea of ignoring someone who is rude or aggressive to be too passive, too submissive. In this more negative mindset, we imagine ourselves in the scenario and self-pity very easily because our sense of inferiority is very strong. We carry an overly critical attitude. Let us not be so critical of ourselves. We have far greater things to be concerned about than our self-image, and if we want, we can instead choose to view ourselves as something different, as indifferent, or as resilient. Others oppose this lesson of compassion because they don't believe that it is fair to simply ignore a person's abusive words, slander, or criticism, especially when it's coming from a friend or family member. This is understandable. However, we have to understand the reality. People are people, and they will do what they will. Their will is their own. They don't have the will to change. That is their liability. It's not our job to try to control and change people. We do what we can, and that's it. Tell them no, it's wrong, stop, etc. Once or twice is enough. Many people find that it is simply too difficult to ignore another person's rude, aggressive behavior, especially when having to tolerate someone over a period of time. Yes, it's difficult, absolutely. It can be overwhelming sometimes. This is why we take the final step in this practice of restraining anger by performing transmutation, such as pranayama and meditation. Gradually, as we practice restraining our pride and anger and other defects, our egos die and our mind evolves, and we create lasting change within ourselves. Truly, we must become as innocent children, innocent with wisdom and conscious knowledge. Whoever whitens the devil, returning him to his resplendent and primordial state, whoever dies in himself here and now, liberates the enchained Prometheus, and he rewards most highly because he is a colossus with power over the heavens, over the earth, and over the infernos. Lucifer Prometheus, totally integrated with all the parts of our being, 
makes us something different, distinct, an exotic creature, an archangel, a terribly divine power. <laughs>